which is a very classic uh, kind of folk model of a drunk in a bar, giving instructions to everybody else at the bar. At my funeral, I want six, here's what I want. I want six barmaids, and I want four guys playing, playing blackjack, and, and, and you know, old Rosin the Bone. If you look up in your, anywhere, Google, Google Rosin the Bone, you'll see all these, these classic folk songs of the instructions. Here's my funeral instructions. And that's what this is, very, very popular melody. That's what this song is based on. And the Hutchinson family also adapted this to other versions of the same song. And then when I was reading David's book about this Whitman in the 1850s, hoping, he goes, oh, I know how to stop this war that's coming. I'll write the best poem ever, and everybody will, will have peace. The notion that a, that a song or a poem can, can really influence politics directly is very hard to grasp. But as I was thinking of it, a few moments ago, in my lifetime, I'm thinking of the song Blowing in the Wind by Bob Dylan in the early 60s. This was a song that I think it convinced a lot of people to, to activate themselves. And so there are instances, and we can all imagine them ourselves from our lives and from our, our students of English, students of history, of moments where in fact art did really, truly influence what was going on in the streets. But uh, this was a campaign song. This is from the Republican Songbook, 1860. Uh, and uh, I just happened to, mm -hmm. happened to love the song. Mm -hmm. so, and now, it's on this, uh, uh, it's on a, a, a metered thing, so we're going to have to fade out at the end. So it's going to be a little bit, a little bit forced, but... Boom, Papa. There we go. Suckers so lucky 